Hi, my name is Magda the Story Spider, and I had a friend who called me from Cleveland, Tennessee. He works as a scientist for TVA, and there was something he didn't know about nature. He called me, wanting to know why there could be a ring around a full moon, a halo of sorts. Well, I had to do some research. But it turns out that the Norse culture, much like many of our cultures, thought that the world was run by the gods. Seems reasonable. Somebody has to do the job. And the big guy upstairs, the All-Father, was Odin. Now, Odin was getting into the details of the matter. And he figured out someone needed to make the moon go from one side of the sky to the other all throughout the night. It's a very big job. I mean, not only does one have to move the moon from one side of the horizon to the other, but also it doesn't give as much light as the sun. The sun, it just gives light all the time, no matter what. The moon only gives as much as she wants. So, some nights it's a lot, like the full moons, we see everything. But other nights, just a little bit, here and there. And some, she's not even up there at all. So, he had to look around for someone to help. He found this someone in the set of Middlefur, whose name was Manny. Manny knew exactly how complicated the moon could be. And he knew he was going to need some help, too. So he started looking around. The night he was looking for help, was the same night there was a bard who was very depressed. Now bards sing and they tell stories, but this one had lost all of his stories, had lost all of his songs. He didn't know what to do, but he had an idea. There was a magical lake not nearby called the Burger, and in the Burger wasn't just water. No, this was called Song Mead. And the song mead, anyone who drank it would have been able to pass on stories and songs that would inspire others. He would become famous. So he asked his children, a boy and a girl named Yurki and Bill, to go fetch a pail of this song mead. They went up the hill with their bucket and they filled it up to the top. So much so that it spilled out on the grass. Well, it was shining golden in the dark. It caught Manny's attention. Well, it didn't really catch Yerky's attention because he slid on the wet grass right down the hill. Bill couldn't hold the bucket by herself, so she went tumbling after. Manny watched the children fall, and he rushed down with his moon chariot, grabbed them up with their bucket, and took them off into the sky. So, if you look up into the sky and you see a full moon with a ring around it, a halo of sorts, some say that that means that the weather of the Norse is coming, the ice, the snow, the cold, which is true. Scientists have proven this. The moon is reflecting ice crystals off of our atmosphere. But I also believe that it's the song meads bucket turned up on its side, spilling out all of that inspiration, all of the songs and stories out onto us, spilling into us so we will remember them and pass them on to others. You know, like little ones. Like Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Thank you cannot be a storyteller without people listening. Thank you.